like a good workout to you. Really good, really sharp, quick, fast. I really liked it a lot. It felt good. I don't know. That's a close one. You can tell, you know, he's uh, trying. He's done a great job. He's lived in the training room. And we got two days. So, you know, if he feels, you know, if he doesn't swell up or anything tomorrow, I would, uh, I bet he plays. You know, he really wants to play. And uh, Marcus looks good. So we're, we're making some progress. Uh, Grant Inger, he's going to be Yeah. Okay. Grant's going to start. Grant is sort of that mold, like Jordan, where he just, he just yeah, Brandon has been, every time I've asked him, how you doing, he said, I've never missed a game, I don't, I don't want to miss one. So, he's got a pretty good mindset. Both receivers doing well this year, but the receivers coach, what, what's he brought to them and what's he really... I think Brent, uh, really, really good uh, expertise on technique, you know, how to play the position, the craft of the position. And then he is, uh, he's a, uh, I think, a, a great guy that just kind of stays on the detail of it and doesn't let them rest. You know, doesn't doesn't let any of them slack off and, and uh, really, I think, really stays on them to perform. You know, practice, obviously games. Uh, uh, I think he really pushes them to be the best they can be. And coach, did that lead to, I mean, you said the position group from the end of last season through all year, the receivers group has really led the way by being disciplined and everything, and Brent kind of helped set that. Oh, yeah, Brent is very, very good about that. I think that, uh, you know, he demands excellence, and uh, I think that it, it carries over. And then he's got a couple, a couple of guys that are tremendous leaders. I mean, uh, Brandon Cooks and, and Marcus Wheaton, uh, they, they set tremendous examples for how to do this thing. Mike, it seems like no drop-off in practice this week despite playing a team like Nickel State. What does that kind of say about your team and maybe the leadership that's on it? I think that uh, this team has shown all year long uh, basically the, the neat thing, the love of preparation to get ready to play. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, they have really uh, – the, the, it's – this, this is not a matter of disrespect at all, but it, it doesn't re matter the opponent. You know, I, I think that they've done it every game. They, I think they like football, and they like to practice, and, and uh, that's really made it a uh, fun year, obviously, for coaching. You know, it's really easy to come out here and be with these guys because I, I truly think they have that old-fashioned adage of wanting to be better. And I think it's a coach's job to help them get better. And so, you know, our, our coaches like it too. So it's all worked together pretty well. You notice the guys switch jersey numbers today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you have to remember the, the, uh, the body types more than the number. And uh, I don't know why they do that. But every, every once in a while they pull that out. It kind of shows that they have fun doing this. Yeah. They, you know, well, you know, that's... I've learned that from Coach Robinson down at USC. You know, this isn't the baton death march here. That's what he used to say. And uh, we, we want it to be fun. What about the city? What kind of curtain call at least would you expect from them this weekend? Well, you know, that's interesting, Stephen. I was reflecting on that walking out to practice today that uh, these seniors, this is the last time they'll play in the stadium. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't talked to any of them about it, but I thought about the same question you just asked. It's it's pretty neat. This is uh, it's really fun for us as coaches, having been here for a while, to see what it means to have a number of classes go through. And so we've seen a lot of guys go through and uh, play their last game. And now more than ever, which is really neat for our program, is we've had a ton of former players come back to games this year. And that's, uh, that's new, you know, that's, that's really uh, pretty special. What are you going to miss most about this class, whether it's on the field, in the locker room? I think that, uh, you know, I don't know what I'll miss exactly. All, all of them are individuals that you miss as people. But uh, I think uh, what I'll always remember is this, this leadership from this team helped pull us out of three and nine. You know, that's, uh, that's quite a feat. It's not easy to do. And uh, I think that they're, they're highly responsible for that. Thanks. Thank All right. Thanks, guys.